Hi friends, welcome to my channel S2K. Today I'm going to prepare Parupurunda Mor Kolumbu. For this I have taken 1 cup of soaked gram dal. We can also mix half cup of tur dal and half cup of gram dal. We should wash it and soak for at least 2 hours. And I have taken some 4 to 5 red chilies, a small piece of ginger, required amount of salt, 2 small onions, little bit of oil for seasoning and half coconut. I have taken half small coconut like this. Once the dal is soaked well, we should take a mixy jar and grind the soaked dal, red chilies, salt, ginger and coconut into a coarse paste. So in a mixy jar I have added the chopped coconut pieces, 4 to 5 red chilies, 1 small piece of ginger, required amount of salt and the soaked dal and I have grinded into a coarse paste like this by adding little water. It should not be too watery and it should not be a fine paste. We should grind it coarsely by adding little bit of water. Now take a frying pan, add little bit of oil, once the oil is heated, I am going to add the mustard seeds, urad dal, curry leaves and saute the chopped onions. Allow the mustard seeds to splutter well. Once it's done, we can add the chopped onions and sort it until it turns brown. Adding a pinch of salt to the onions helps to get it roasted fast. Saute the onions for 2 to 3 minutes until it turns brown. You could see the color of the onion has been changed. Now I'm adding the dal mixture which we have prepared it in the mixy jar it contains dry red chilies coconut pieces soaked dal and required amount of salt and also a small piece of ginger Sort this for 3 to 5 minutes until the dal is cooked. Be careful while stirring because the dal might get burnt. 
So keep stirring continuously. Once the dal is cooked, just turn off the flame and allow it to cool completely. I have taken a plate like this. Apply oil to the plate. Now I am going to prepare the balls which is called as the parpurunda. Prepare the balls and steam it in a steamer. You can use your usual idli stand or the usual steamer which you use to steam the balls. Steam the parpurunda. Prepare small balls like this once the mixture is cooled completely. I am going to steam this for about 10 to 15 minutes by covering with a lid. You can use your normal idli stand or any steamer which you use for steaming. I am not pressure cooking, I am just steaming by covering with a lid. After 15 minutes we could see the parpurunda has been cooked well. Now I am going to drop it in the more kurumba which I have prepared. I have given the link for more kurumba in my district description box. So please check it. Now I am adding the steamed parpurunda balls into the more korambu. You can check my description box for the more korambu recipe. I have given the link there. So the healthy parpurunda more korumba is ready. For more korumba we should always add salt at the end. We should not add it before. So I am adding salt in the end and just mix it well for the salt to get dissolved completely. If we add salt in the beginning the curd would get, get spoiled so we should always add it in the end try this at home and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you